Did you have any idea what you wanted to do with your life in seventh or eighth grade? Mm -mm. Absolutely not, right? But many kids are under that kind of pressure as they apply for high school. CBS 2's Doug Williams covers education and shares what some students are doing to make these big decisions that will impact their future. Wellington Nunez may not dress like a typical eighth grader. Maybe it's because he seems to have the rest of his life figured out. I want to go to like a high school that has to do with science because when I grow up, I want to become a veterinarian. Nunez is taking part in Wedco's high school prep course at PS 218 in the Bronx. He says his prep, though, started in seventh grade. In seventh grade, I was thinking about high school. I had to tell my grades high. Can we tell our kids at the beginning of seventh grade, we're like, this is your year. Seventh grade exams, grades, and extracurriculars are what high schools evaluate first because many schools are specialized. At 12 and 13 years old, these students are already making decisions with their futures in mind. Let's say that I take um, high school for art or something like that, and I end up being something that's like nothing to do with art. So that's why I think that, yeah, I need to know, not know, but like have a feeling of what I want to be when I'm older in order to choose the high school I want to go to. Nicole Jennings led the class, explaining the differences in requirements from school to school. What specifically do you need for certain schools that you maybe don't need for others? All of the good schools in the city are doing that, and they all have different processes. So. Students are really being asked to navigate a lot. There are things that help make this complicated process a little bit simpler. This might look overwhelming, but if you live in Brooklyn North, 47 public high schools are here at this fair to learn a little bit more about you. Every student is unique and every school is unique. And this place, really, this fair allows you to find that perfect match. There's a big range, which is nice, so I can find a mixture of what I want, and that makes it easier to decide. City students can apply to up to 12 schools anywhere in the city. It's a complex and strategic process, and not every parent has the time or the ability to help. It's stressful for me because of the technology base. Everything is done online. When I went to school, everything was on my paper. I had to keep up on everything, and there's no, there's no breaks. Raise your hand if you know what you have to do. Local programs like WEDCO aim to lessen that burden on parents and students with the message that students can find the perfect fit. They all really, they want to succeed. I would say it's like extremely rare if, they're, if they don't. So it's just about finding the right match, I think, for students. And our education partners at Chalkbeat New York have five tips to help you navigate the high school application process. You'll find a link to their reporting at cbsnewyork.com. You can also head to nychalkbeat.org to find our combined reporting. Good luck to all those future leaders out there. Truly.